Hey guys, this is Kawaii Nation here. And it's time I finally do this. Now that all season 3 episodes of Kuka Harajuku have been found, it's time I do my fan made version of it of season 4. My fan made season 4 episode list. Now, without further ado, it's time I explain to them. So, the first episode is easily gonna be gonna leave off with the cliffhanger ending. So it's going to be about HJ5 and Meerkats. Apparently they have to work together to go back to Harajuku. I know many of you want to go in different dimensions, but I think that they could go back home. I mean, kind of simple, but all right. Then you get the second one, which HG5 was finishing an air gig in Bubblegum Berg, and all of a sudden there was a person out selling HJ5 dolls for a high price and in platinum colors, quote unquote. So, a scalper themed episode called Buyers Beware. And G seems very skeptical if they're a scam or not. Check, he knows that the dolls have another thing as it's unpleasant. Art Bib Contest. So that contest thing in Cuckoo Chic and Angel is very looking forward to participating for things to come true. However, she realizes that Carrie Chaos. Yes, I wanted to bring back Carrie Chaos because she was only on one episode, one episode on season three. You have to work together to make an outfit and hopefully win. Then you get taken over defense. This will be about Colonel Spike and what what happened to her after, during season three, and it will lead to her and no fun having some thing together meeting up and then this one lyric habits g has plans to have a brand new song of what she can find the city however she finds a melodic voice and she has issues when there's commotion she finds a way to calm down thanks to that person anime day this is going to be a cosplay episode this will be a cosplay episode of ha5 in the convention center it's about cosplay and there's going to be like anime stuff, video game stuff, and of course Jimmy who is a geek. And you get a loving secret. Um, this is going to have Angelica back with love and being together like this and there's going to be a little secret. Smoothie addiction. Baby wanted to try a smoothie but people have been fighting over it on its low supply and it's up to her to see who made a drink and solve that madness. A sequel to 51 channels because why not? But this time, there's Seiwa. All right, so Seiwa comes back and then she use, she's like the special guest, just like and the winner is, and she gets to be featured until an accident caused by an employee, and they gotta stop Seiwa from hacking the network's inner plan. To of course, I want to be the sixth member of HJ5. Bubbling Strike. Yeah, this is going to be one with Madam Shout. Madam Shout, and then she loses her hearing forever, so she's, she's, she's going to be silent forever. Oh, boy. <laughs> Blooming Blossoms. A Cherry Blossom, a.k.a. Sakura, themed episode of HJ5. With new outfits, but the cherry blossom haven't seen bloom yet. Later to be solved if Fire of HJ5 is coming. They did Candy Blossom Fire Festival. What? <laughs> Sequel that. Angel Escape. Um, this takes place after the uh, the ending of um, Could Have Been when Angel was stuck on a mountain and she has to you know, go back or her friend to go back to her normal dimension. Bertrand's Revenge. Yeah, um, a revenge of Bertram. And it might as well be his final appearance. Magical Dress. Angel saw something special, so decades old. Mimi has told her probably on um, something not to get attracted by for saving this up. Kimber returned. The return of the Kimberleys with a battle of the bands. Giant G. It's HJ5 has uh, prepped up for Technopolis. And then Love teams up with her former rival. And then suddenly an accident caused by someone caused G to become a 40 foot tall giant. It's up to HJ5 and Rudy, well, Lamb, to solve his problem for making things worse. Lock Gig! They're performing in Musictopia, then they cause the girls to be safe caused by Sam and 
Rudy said free. Maybe that'll lead to solving the questions as they can perform the gig. You're growing up. This is going to be an episode where Baby knows about her future in circus land with a, with a fortune teller. Missing Chewie. Given how Chewie actually had a cameo on season 3. I really wanted to see what happened to Chewie, so... I, I, I just had to do it. Like, what happened to Chewie with HJ5? Then you get pool days. It's a hot summer day in Harajuku, and Baby found out that she joined HJ5, and she wanted to hear about Baby to sing at her gig. Harajuku U is supposedly a sequel to Waves of Love. Love was given a second chance to see her final thoughts if she decides to do it or not. Big mistake. HJ5 has been invited to a gig, but Rudy feels like he might mess it up as he decided not to mess things up and apologize for what he did back then with HJ5. Oh yeah, also, that is also gonna have, um, some flashbacks and some what-if continuations on previous episodes of the show that never, never got screened. And you get the black bow, which is when we're suddenly uh, something in. This is where the big thing comes at the season finale. Visiting from Tizzy, the return of Tizzy, because Tizzy stole a statue of, of, um, that looks almost like G. Mm hmm. And she only cares about old HG5. Uh, fast solution. There's been a mishap where Angel teams up with Mimi and goes on with a familiar face. Frames, um, an episode where Sammy framed music and then he has revenge, but he gets punished. Forgotten promises. Really, I forgot something that was back in Harajuku City with the tour bus. They spend their time in the city and Rudy found a special item, something secret inside. Leads to a special event that will lead to Harajuku. Just go rivalry. Just simply saying, music has a rival. Every other HJ5 member has a rival, but not music. Or, or baby. I know Angel, G, and Love have their rivals, but not baby and music. Tech dressing. Uh, Kawaiiopolis, and not Technopolis, though. Which is weird, but... Oh well. Fine going with Technological Park. Angel was interested, but she has no hand design that isn't really fabric, so she asked for Love's practice. Later on, designed a special dress. Remembering mm, music was stressed for not getting enough sleep, so she decided to take a little break as she tied to postpone her gig to tomorrow as music explores her life more to be calm in her own way. The return of Meerkats, and then that would be the end of Meerkats. Rebels and Fetters has been an art day in Kuku Ahu as HA5 prepped out special outfits that man that's starting to erupt in Mount Hua. And then Rudy has saved the girls from the volcano with one of his shocking plans. Out of memory, say while returns with a vengeance and that may G lose her memory so the other girls have to stop say while from her actions and get her memories back before the gig starts. Manager's timing. Rudy was given a special report to head on an assembly with all our managers. He was very he had to hurry up. Right with all our speckle fans must have a new song from a concert happening here. In the loop, it's just gonna be a loop episode with HJ5 and then it has to go up Love's thing to her studying. Life is a glitch! Technopolis has a video game festival and then something pixelating glitchy, something caused by Sewa. Oh boy, imagine the people are gonna say retro. <laughs> or, or probably just the avatars from like, caught on the web and game over. Has to stop her and make Technopolis look normal again with one hang thing revealed. Jelly Bean Evolution. We get to see the things with Yummy Bear and his new look. Crystal Flakes. They've been ready to spend their time a little together on the snow festival. Angel notices something with a magical substance. With the help of Baby, they send an outfit for special moment. Look at my twinkle in my eye. They go. The gang gets to be invited to Sweetropolis on Gwen's birthday. And Rudy has me in charge of me with... Gwen's special summon for her togetherness when the time comes for a big party. Now, um, the special guest star is easily gonna be someone recognizable. The Kawaii Festival, it's their Halloween episode, and Rudy has to face his fear on something actually happening, so music has no choice but to help him. Freaky feature, just like that concept art thing, zombies. Uh, zombies with this festival. Uh, yes, it's gonna remind you guys of that regular show episode with the zombies and the other movies with that festival. And even Rudy went and apologized when the manager of the told her glitch film was forbidden to destroy the stuff. Here's how realistic it was. Cheese days off. 
Yeah, it's her day off, and then they relax until she probably might have no choice but to postpone that mysterious harmony. Yeah, happening with old friends, but the future of the fate of the city. One way being a sacrifice until they're ready to perform. Yep. Hercule Fitz. Fats needs to throw back. We get an episode where Angel meets up with her parents. That's her place that she grew up with. Little Big Pig. And it tells a history of when she from went from that city to Harajuku. Lost Concert. They found a Lost Concert stage which led to a former band that disappeared. And then surprisingly it happened. It got trapped in years. Remembering what happened before but it's more different than we seen. Then you get the Origins episode of HJ5. I'm surprised we didn't even get an Origins episode. Yes, there was Angel's Changel. Angel Changel which was like a clip. But we needed a full origin special, so I decided, and this is the last concert, the the final event thing on on Harajuku, a black hole that consumes everything that is Kawaii. And she has other plans, she probably do something very risky, there was something else that changed to stop that black hole and make Harajuku back to its normal self. And then you get the series finale. The black hole has been defeated. Harajuku and the entire world has been peace. And HJ5 has been officially disbanded. Everyone has their own moments together as Harajuku began. And then you get a time skip. Which would lead to its final scene. For the ladies to have their reunion. So that's that's all for my season 4 ideas of Kuka Harajuku. I wonder what you guys think. Uh, comment down below for what you guys think. But yeah. That's how I would end Kuka Harajuku, just like that. Anyway guys, this is Kawaii Nation, signing off, peace.